happens to those people? They have been given a purpose. This is a movie where, uh, first off, I was noticing right away, I love how, I mean, there are so many movies that, you know, kind of play with genre, and they want to thumb it at the audience to, like, see where we're kind of playing around here. But you don't play around. You take everything seriously and the premise seriously, and because of that, I think the movie works even better than if somebody's, like, uh, nudging or winking at the audience. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the process on, on coming up with a story that like that. Yeah, look, I, I think we wanted to really throw the audience in from the get-go. We start off with this uh, Operation Overlord on D-Day, and we're with these paratroopers as they're all, like, terrified of what's going to be hap happening to them. And, um, you know, they literally get dropped into hell. Um, and, you know, it was that um, t trying to create characters that we can follow and and, and love and, and, and get behind and, and three-dimensional, make them three-dimensional, like make the villains three-dimensional, yes. make them real and believable. And, you know, because um, JJ always talks about, um, you know, uh, leaning in and how do you get the, the audience to lean in. And if the, for me, it's about like investing in the characters and, 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 and I think that's um, the only reason you care in the third act when all hell breaks loose. You care that this guy's going to get killed. Mm -hmm. Like, you care that the hero is going to win, you know. And uh, for me, it was like always a balancing act between um, uh, getting the emotion and the action right. And the horror and the sci fi. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have to say, uh, your villain is great. Oh, uh, thank you. you had a lot of fun uh, watching you. Um, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Where do you find motivation in playing really fun villains like that? And second, that face makeup was gnarly, dude. I loved it. And, yeah, uh, the, 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 the makeup department on this film were incredible. And we, we would still be working on it, on, you know, while we were shooting. Julius would come up and still being like, no, I need the nose to be more like that, and I need a bigger wound, and I need more blood dripping down. And so it was an ongoing process. Why is it fun doing villains? Mm -hmm. Because you can be yourself. Yep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, uh, of course I'm not a Nazi, um, <laughs> but but I kind of like villains. And as a foreigner in American films, you have a tendency tendency to be cast as the villain because of my accent. Um, but I like it. I think it's more fun. The anti-hero is always more interesting than the real hero. You know, I've always enjoyed it in films. I always identify with the guys who are misunderstood. Um, and, and that's the reason why I, I love doing it. And I think you can see the collaboration we had, not only you and me, but the, collab the, the collaboration within the team, within the ensemble, that it, it works. Everyone has their moment. Mm -hmm. and, and that meant that everyone invested everything. And I really like that. Um, I love how J.J. Abrams is kind of in a weird way, kind of becoming the Rod Serling of genre, oh, you know? Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, with uh, Cloverfield and Overlord, yeah. uh, he seems to be bringing filmmakers like yourself, and you know, who are, you know, new to the scene, but they're getting to get to play with this big sandbox. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about how that was working with him. Yeah, look, you know, the great thing about Bad Robot and JJ, um, you know, is they, they do things outside of the box. And, you know, um, you know, when you walk into a, a bad rubber film, expect the unexpected, and they like to, you know, the JJ loves to uh, see how far you uh, you can, you know, um, go down the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but one of the things that you know he, you know, really loves to set up is is really strong characters that 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 you know you want to follow down this rabbit hole and. Um, and you know he really loves to workshop the script, and even in the in the post, you know we, we were always workshopping scenes, and and you know he never lets lets anything go until it's right, and um, you know it can be really challenging at times because he's a perfectionist, but I learn a lot from that. You know he's uh, he's a uh, um, yeah a really good really good guy to work with. I, there's a very interesting experience. I've I've done a couple of films now, so I have a little bit of experience. And, and JJ being the producer of the film, not the director, mm -hmm. there's a big difference. I've actually seen producers interfering much, much more in directing mm -hmm. than JJ did in this film. Yeah, I mean, he got right behind me. I, I you know, I did things in this movie which were uh, a lot of people would, 
you know, saying that's crazy, you shouldn't be doing it. Like the opening one in the film, uh, which is a crazy, uh, um, you know, aerial battle uh, sequence, uh, everyone thought was just, you know, it's just a really tricky thing to try and pull off. And Jay just said, go for it, man. And he was like that support, like he would just, you know, if we needed um, him to just, as a filmmaker, he gets it, he, he understands that, um, you know, that you, you need to push, you need to try and find new ways. And it's always gonna be hard for people to sort of, to who, who, aren't, who isn't a, a director themselves to understand that. I even love it down to the font of the credits where it feels like it's almost a propaganda film from World War II directly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I love that. Mm. Thank you hey, very man. much. You're All welcome, right, Thank Alan. you so much, man. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel really good. Uh, holy Christ.